Hello, hello, Kelly here. Welcome to the New Paradigm Leadership Network. In case we don't know each other, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Kelly Geisler Wilson. I am an intuitive business and mindset coach, human design specialist, and a quantum energy expert. And it is my mission and passion to help heart centered female entrepreneurs transform from being the doer in their business to the leader of their business so they can create the impact that their heart desires while generating financial and abundance doing what they love. So if you would like support on your entrepreneurial journey, go ahead and click subscribe to our network and click this the notification bell so that you can be informed every time we drop a new episode, which is weekly. So this week's episode is all about exploring if you believe that you can change your money story. Or are you, is it a doom and gloom? You're stuck where you're at. You're stuck operating in the money story that you currently have. And if your answer is, yes, I believe that I'm stuck here, lean in a little bit closer because I want to share something inspiring with you. So my relationship with money has been a roller coaster. In my early 30s, and actually by the time I was 30, I was a millionaire. I had worked hard in the technology industry. I saved, I paid off all my debt, including my mortgage, so that I could become a stay-at-home mom when the time came. It was a plan. We reached the plan. We reached the goal. And at the age 30, I gave birth to my first set of kiddos, which were twins. And then at the age of 38, I got divorced and I lost a lot. I lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of safety. I lost a lot of security and I lost my future. At the time of my divorce, I hadn't worked in nine years. I had four young kiddos at the time and I didn't, and I do know, excuse me, what it's like to absolutely dread going to the mailbox, being alone, walking to that mailbox, anticipating bills coming in and not knowing how I'm going to pay these bills. I also know what it's like to have an overflow of wealth and have the opportunity to pay it forward by gifting my money to causes that matter to me. When I was 20 years old, I bought my first house on a total whim and I had no idea what I was doing. It just felt like it was something I was supposed to do being a young, responsible adult. So when I was in escrow, my lender said, so we need two months salary in your savings to prove that you're a good, you know, creditor or a good person to give credit to. And I was shocked. Again, I was 20. I was young. I was naive. I'm like, what in the world is he asking me to do? I'm scraping by to make this purchase. How in the world am I supposed to have two months of mortgage sitting in my bank account to just prove that I was a good um, qualified candidate? So I had reached out to my mom at the time, again, total naive here. I had called my mom and with her steady voice, she replied, don't worry, Kelly, we'll find it. We'll find it. It was right there and then those three little words that transformed my complete relationship with money. From that point forward, I always knew money was available and I always knew I was going to find it. And to this day, I haven't been able to prove my new belief wrong. At the age of 30, I stepped away from a very successful technology and corporate career to raise my four kiddos. And when it came time to re-enter the workforce at age 39, I started at zero. And it was a difficult start re-entering into technology. Things change very rapidly in that industry. In over nine years, there was the whole landscape changed with technology. A year after my divorce, I opted out of receiving my child support because the energy of his money was no longer in alignment with what I was up to. And it was something that I no longer wanted to receive. So with three years of my divorce, I landed a new job and I went from zero to six figures in my corporate role. And the thrill of crossing that six figure glass ceiling was exciting and there was so much more possibility that opened up to me. So at the age of, I think it was around 40, I had crossed that elusive six figure glass ceiling. Money kept showing up to, for me and it kept its promise to me. It was always available. I was always going to be able to find it. It was there for me. It was available. And as a business owner now, so I have been one year in my business. I actually celebrate my one year anniversary in a week. 
my relationship with money continues to transform. And yes, when I first started, I had to actually work with it from just anticipating money was always going to be available in my bank to start generating my money and my income monthly from going forward. So that was the first transition I had to do when I became a full-time entrepreneur. But about six to seven, eight months later, I hit another glass ceiling. So in full transparency, I've begun to do the energetic work to rework my relationship and rebuild my relationship with money. For me, it's always a, it's a, it's a lifelong practice to tweak it because new information, new blocks come about. And because while I received a lot of money, I hit my highest mark in January of this year. And I started to sabotage my success immediately after that. And yes, I immediately said, can I do it again? Or was it a fluke? February hit that goal again. And I really started going into generating blocks and barriers. And I stopped the income and the flow of income in my business at that point. My mindset couldn't handle it. My energetic body couldn't handle it. And my business actually had to be tweaked and transformed as well in order to handle the success and the growth that I was experiencing. So I was not prepared for big flow of money coming into my life and my business. My nervous system went out of whack and my mindset simply wasn't ready for it. So I had an internal fear of not knowing how to handle that much money that stopped the flow of money from coming into my business. And yeah, it trickled a little, but it certainly wasn't the numbers that I had in January and February. I learned that what happens on the inside blocks or opens opens us up to what we want to receive on the outside and in our business. We are absolutely in control of that. And absolutely, you can make those shifts to align to greater flow and greater abundance. Our mindset blocks or opens us, period. And it opens us up to the truth about our worth and how much we think we can charge for money or for our services and what we are willing to receive and can we receive an abundance of money. I often talk to my clients after I had went through this latest phase was my cup was about this big and I energetically worked to create a very deeper and wider cup to receive more clients, more money, more possibility and just started opening up. And now I tell the universe, I am ready. My business is ready. My mindset's ready. My energy system and my nervous system is ready. I am ready and I can scale and I can grow and I can serve at a greater level. But I want you to know that our mindset creates our inner glass ceilings. And because it's our mindset, and it's because of a learned story or belief that we developed earlier on in our life, we can unlearn it and we can relearn a more resourceful and a more positive story. We may have exciting money goals about our business or for our business, But it's critical that we look deeper into how we may be blocking ourselves or preparing ourselves or aligning ourselves with the flow of money. It's on us to create the opportunity to receive energetically and to receive strategically, you know, through tactics and strategies. And it's on us to create big container to receive an abundance of money. If you are operating in a very teeny tiny container, so think of it as a cup and I'm looking around for props here. Do I have a small size cup or do I have a really big cup energetically through my mindset and through the design of my business to receive big or to receive little? Am I already limiting myself? So continuous mindset and energetic alignment practices create the path towards success. And it actually creates the path towards your big financial goals. And now I want to help you move out of lack and into abundance. I want to help rewrite your money story and align it with your financial goals. I want to help prepare your energy system And of course, I want to help you prepare your business as well. But for today, I want to share a special invitation for with you. So on June 15th, I am facilitating and hosting a one day, eight hour workshop on rebuilding your relationship with money. And it's in this workshop that we are going to work on the mindset. We are going to work on the energetic container and the mindset 
to align you to your financial goals. Now, I know what you're thinking. You might be saying, Kelly, whoa, eight hours. Yep, eight hours. I'm going to ask you to roll up your sleeves. I'm going to ask you to do the hard work, but I'm only going to ask you to do it for one day with me. We're going to have breaks in the morning. We're going to have a break for lunch and we're going to have a break afternoon. So each chunk is about a 90 minute workshop four times throughout the day. But we are going to roll up our sleeves. We're going to identify your money story. We're going to really tune into the truth of money. And I can't wait to introduce you to my friend money. It is vibrant. It is flowy. It is exciting. And I know my friend money wants to invest in me and it wants to invest in my business and it wants to do good through me and through my business because I am impacting and changing lives and money wants to continue to amplify it. So I can't wait to introduce you to the real authentic version of money and I'm going to guide you into rewriting your money story. But we're not only going to do that at a cognitive level, we're going to go through embodiment practices so that you rewrite your money story from a, at a cellular level. So what you start vibrating is this brand new money story that aligns with your financial goals. That is what clears those blocks and barriers. That is what clears your pathway towards your financial success that you are desiring deep down inside that you are desiring and so if this excites you and here's another bonus and I don't like to make it about this but hey since we're talking about money I am only asking for a fraction to invest in yourselves and to invest in your money story and so the whole entire one day workshop is 297 and you can get in on the pre-sale if you're interested and go ahead and follow me on Instagram at the butterfly guide to or join my newsletter at thebutterflyguide.com and you can be invited to participate in the pre-sale offer so you can even save more money. So my invitation is let's have money work for you. Invest in yourself, invest in your business, and it's time to rebuild your relationship with money so that it works for you instead of against you. All the information is down below and I'm looking forward to seeing you on June 16th.